Hey, this is Derek Crabb. Uh, welcome to another episode, uh, installment of uh, Picture in Picture Commentary for the History of Comics on Film. Uh, again, uh, we are into the 1960s decade here. Um, this is what I like to consider the second season um, of the History of Comics on Film. Uh, so this installment is on Green Lantern. Um, so yeah, and, and it's the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. So I, I think by this point, I, I, I think I might mention Alan Scott very, very briefly. But like I said before, I, I, I wanted to not ignore it, but since there's not too much available on that front, at least when I was making these at the time, there might have been some more later on with, uh, you know, things like, uh, the Justice Society appearing on Smallville and Brave and the Bold and stuff, but for the most part, um, you know, in media it was Hal Jordan and beyond, you know, guys like Jon Stewart and Guy Gardner and whoever, um, but not too much on Alan Scott. So I figured, you know, I want to focus on that and deal with the first appearance of um, Hal Jordan and some of his villains like Evil Star. Uh, you know, and then and then here's a nice uh, segue into the Super Friends episode that details uh, the origin of Green Lantern. And, uh, you know, a lot of the Super Friend origins were pretty well done, and uh, I figured it would be a shame not to uh, include them when, uh, you know, talking about this, because the, the Filmation shorts, there, there weren't that many of these, um, you know, because they were fill-ins for the in-between episodes of Aquaman. So... You know, even this, it's like he sort of does half the oath. You know, he's kind of like, uh, no evil shall escape my sight, beware my power, Green Lantern's light. But he doesn't do the first half of the oath, so I had to kind of pinch the first half of the oath from the Brave and the Bold episode. Um, and, uh, oh, I guess what I was saying was there's, there's three episodes of Green Lantern here, just like there's three episodes of The Flash, The Atom, Hawkman, and The Justice League. But all um, 15 of those were the uh, uh, meat of the sandwich in an Aquaman sandwich uh, as part of the Superman Aquaman hour. Just like the Superboy was the meat in the Superman sandwich, I guess, or whatever. Um, so here's the Guardians of the Universe looking kind of pink-skinned uh, instead of blue-skinned. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the only real villain he fights, uh, you know, real, I guess, um, you know... Uh, I guess some people say that sometimes they're not real, um, is Evil Star. Um, and then I felt like I should mention uh, Lensman, um, because that uh, seems to be like what the, I want to say the modern version of Green Lantern, like not, not Alan Scott, but, but you know, Hal Jordan and, and so forth, moving forward is based on, you know, it's, it's the more science fiction aspect and element of it, and, um, and then I figured, you know, I, I had a lot of footage from, uh, from the anime version of it, which apparently a lot of fans of the books don't like, um, but I thought it was kind of a cool visual um, to uh, express and explain the, the connection, you know, you could see he's got the little lens, kind of like Green Lantern has the little ring. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I just kind of wanted to go into that and, and Green Lantern sort of trail. And again, uh, much like uh, what I talked about with, uh, with Toy Man, uh, I'm not focusing on every Green Lantern appearance uh, of every different version ever made. I'm just sort of focusing on Hal Jordan right here um, and going through his kind of history of, of where Hal Jordan's been. Um, just like I was going through Winslow's shot in, uh, in the Superman piece and not uh, going into the other versions of Toy Man because I just didn't want it to get too meandering and confusing and so forth. And so uh, here was an opportunity to uh, talk about Hal Jordan's sidekick in the comics, um, Kalmaku. Um who they called pie face all the time, which, anyway, but, um, anyway, so you got, uh, his Eskimo sidekick, and then here, they change him from an Eskimo to, uh, uh a guy, a little kid from Venus, um, because, I guess, you change somebody's skin color to blue or green, and it's cool, they can be 
dumb as sticks, um, and nobody's offended, I guess. Um, which I don't get, but whatever. He's still a dumb, blue-skinned guy from Venus, um, who's always getting into trouble. But anyway, okay, uh, enough of that. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, so you got Evil Star. Um, and, you know, like I said, uh, hopefully later on, uh, w when we get to Challenge of the Super Friends and some other stuff, we can go into other uh, Green Lantern villains um, as well. Um, guys like Sinestro and... Um, I'm trying to think of, of who else they've actually let appear. Um, Star Sapphire, you know, people like that. Um... But yeah, so like my editorial wise, there I mean, I wasn't gonna talk too much about that, you know, like what I thought of the cartoon. It's like I I pretty much told people what I think of in the, the Batman ones and the Superman ones, you know, it's kinda like I like these cartoons, I enjoy them. You know, I know that they're not the best uh animated sometimes. Uh I know that Filmation is famous for reusing uh stock footage over and over and over again. Um, but that didn't deter from my enjoyment of them. Um, here, I just wanted to mention, you know, kind of like what I did with the Flash thing and the movie So Close. You know, I just wanted to say, hey, dude, if you guys are going to make a Green Lantern movie, here's a, a cool template with the fighter pilot guy and the connection with the aliens and so on and so forth. So that was kind of how I decided to end... Uh, you know, the end note for this piece is just say, hey, look, here's something really cool. Um, I hope you guys know about it or, um, you know, whoever's making the, the film now. You know, I really hope that Green Lantern movie is good. Like, because Jonah Hex was friggin' awful. So, uh, you know, this is just me hoping and praying that it's good. Um, and that I, I like it. Um, okay, guys. So, uh, I appreciate everyone who watches, um, uh, yeah, please, uh, continue to watch, uh, you can watch on the blog, uh, you can watch on comic book movies, um, thank you to everybody on Bot Talk who watches all the time, um, and gives me ideas and answers questions and feedback and stuff like that, um, so thanks a lot, people, take care.